Hey my dear friends, just want to talk to you a little bit. And this is the uh, butterfly patch. So, Krishna, Paramar, Vishnu, everything, you know, same Paramar, Lord, um, Paramar, or Lord Vishnu, or the omnipotent God. But why we call by Sahasranama? Sahasranama means it is um, thousand times, thousand. Sahasrara means thousand in Sanskrit. Why we call Vishnu by, I could hear the sound from the results here in the mango tree. Why we call Vishnu by uh, thousand names? Why it is so necessary? Lalita Sahasrama, why it is so necessary? Lalita is a single name. Why we call her with thousand names? Why it is so necessary? Just I'll give you an example. The Bhatrakali Sahasrama, it says Turasi, Vrinda and all that. So you know that Turasi or Vrinda is the other name for Shakti or Lakshmi. So the plan Tulasi has got that divine divinity in it and Vishnu you can call Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudeva just try chanting this mantra Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudeva for thousand and eight times for at least nine to eleven days and see the difference and uh, the Lakshmi, the Shri, is believed to be uh, living in Tulasi and this bitter leaf. So, in temples and all, you would have seen they give uh, bananas, bitter leaves, and uh, what is uh, coconuts, and this pak uh, or a kind of nut, betel nut, they use these kind of things and the the prasad what they give us uh, water in a bronze vessel with a little bit of pachakar puram uh, camphor or one kind of camphor and uh, tulsi and uh, sometimes sabja seeds or uh, basil and uh, oma omam or caravises or um, what else when you go to Parimal temple and get the teeth you'll get to know that and for Archana and all we keep bitter leaf uh, bananas coconuts and flowers and we keep only the selected flowers like mullay jasmine and all that and this kind of thing um, other kind of chrysanthemum which doesn't have a smell and all is not kept only the pavadima leaf flowers and even the henna leaves have shri in it and mango leaves have shri in it neem leaves have shri in it and what else you can you can see the shri living in this um beings in this um, entities of the universe and uh, this is another tree which gives white and orange flowers. We do the achana with yellow flowers, red flowers, white flowers. And we have a special flower for doing all this pujas. Like um, we um, use even mangoes, bananas, pomegranate, lemons and uh, what else? Each temple will have an art shed actually. And uh, mm, there is a special, mm, what is it, um, importance given to this. Even uh, jewsbury, so lemons, jewsbury, and all, very good for health, rich source of vitamin C and uh, goba and the mangoes 
and coconuts everything has got its own medical medicinal value so accordingly we do puja and it is offered as a prasadam and we do abhishekam with milk chandan water tender coconut water buttermilk um milk and what else nanari water vetiver water and the different leaves uh bilva leaf bilva leaf is good for diabetes and mm, this vellare you know this is also good for diabetes this rianagme prianagme will remove the toxins toxins from your body and aloe vera is a this god is own medical medicinal value and stipuli is there and everything has got its own Mm. medicinal value to um protect them we need to give some sort of um value to this we have to uh, tell people that is so valuable so for that we have done this the curry leaves are there good source of vitamin a and uh, this insulin plant good for diabetes and so many things are there So this mango leaf has got the ability to purify the air, and the neem leaves also have got um, um, what is it? Has got the uh, ability to purify the air. So have mango trees and neem trees in your house, and this is Happy Mother's Day. and this is another piece of art to welcome you and this is also to welcome you and this is also to welcome you have as much of leaves as possible and remove it when it becomes dry